What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're finally getting to the exhaust on the VE, VF, I don't know, whatever you want to say, on the wagon. Alrighty, so I've already got the car jacked up and in the air. I'm going to get underneath and start ripping down the pipes because I don't want this job to take longer than it should. Alright, let's get into it. So yes, even though the car is already up on stands and up in the air, um, I know what, you want, what you're thinking and wondering. Yes, I got some footage before, like before taking the exhaust off so you can hear what it sounds like. Yes, we took it for a drive. Um, so here's the footage now. Now keep in mind, like this is the first time I've used this this car rig that you're gonna see in the next shot, um, and I still have no idea how to really use it. It's so basic that you think you've nailed it, and obviously you haven't. There's just just some like learning curves for it. But the main thing is we're not looking at the footage per se in this. We're looking at the listening to the audio, listening to how it sounds, because that's that's the big uh, the whole point to this pretty much. Um, all right, so cut to that footage now of driving the car before. Cold start with the two and a half inch. Alrighty, so now that we have the baseline of what the car sounds like, first off, um, I've gone ahead and I've pulled off the exhaust and now I've got the uh, two and a half inch X-Forced mild steel next to the three inch uh, stainless steel Empire exhaust. So let's have a comparison and let's look between the two of them and uh, see what's different, see what's similar and uh, have, have your guesses on which one's gonna be easier or harder. I've heard so many stories about X-Force being a nightmare to, to fit up, but I've heard the same thing with Empire. And unless you're spending like four grand or whatever it is for a, a DPE exhaust, I feel like they're just the issues that you, you kind of play with. Um, all right, let's look into these. All right, so first off, let's have that comparison on size. You've got your two and a half inch mild steel, three inch stainless steel. One of the main reasons I wanted to change exhausts, get rid of this, maximum loud boys, because as far as I'm aware, this isn't a straight through one, it's actually a chamber. I think, I don't know, I could be wrong. And then, yeah, that replaces it on the Empire exhaust with uh, three inch hot dogs. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and one thing that I really like about the Empire exhaust is it has these uh, slip flanges just here so that if the fitment isn't perfect or if you need a little bit more slack or you're a mil or two short, you can use those to uh, help pick up the slack. So I, I really like that design. Okay, so I got some JCB roll to compare the uh, the to compare both exhausts next to each other, but uh, I guess there's no other no other reason that we should be wasting time. Let's uh, let's start putting this bitch in. So you'll find this really funny. Now I got this exhaust put on by a shop because when I had two step and when I, the car was really low and the, the old exhaust I had was really slack, it would hang down and drag on the ground, which like made the muffler collapse, holes all through the exhaust, it was horrible, but it was, it was a really cheap 
really, really cheap exhaust that I got with the car. When I had that exhaust, I also had two-step and I bought it literally just to shoot flames and it was wicked and it was awesome and I really want to do it again so I can make videos on it because it was awesome and it was a really cool party trick. Now, one thing that came along with that was the, it shot the cats out, obliterated the cats. I remember I got an engine light with it and uh, I also had a, a scan tool at the time and every time I'd scan it, it was an O2 sensor. And the funny thing is, is I pulled out the other one and the wires were melted all together and everything. So I was like, shit, that one must be, must be out. And uh, so I pulled out the second one thinking it's gonna be perfect because the plug wasn't melted and it was all good. And look at that. Look at, look at, you can literally see where it's been blown open. How insane is that? You can literally see which direction it was screwed into the car and which way the two-step blew it out. Now, I know that there's people already gonna, people that are already, already gonna say that it's messing with the tune, yada, 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 whatever. But when I actually got the car tuned, we actually turned off the O2 sensors. So I'm gonna not put these in for now. For whatever reason, if, because there's two sets, there's before the cats and after the cats. Um, so you've got the ones that are just here, and then you've got, that's the headers that I'm running. That's a spare one that I've got. You can see there's one before and after the cat, because the cat would go in just in the middle here, obviously. And I know that I haven't got those ones in, or they might still be in, but I know that they're turned off. So I might see if we can get away with just uh, not putting these in. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put them in, broken or not, regardless. I don't know if this still might... I, it's broken, I know, it, but you never know. It might still do something. It might just get an over-the-top sensor or reading, but regardless, I'm going to put it in just to be sure. All right, I'll screw this in, and then we'll start putting in the front pipes. One thing I'm really keen for with this is look how many mounting flanges there are in the Empire. Look how many there are on the, on the X-Force. One. Now this heavy bitch was really hard to get out. Whereas this, especially by myself, I can modularly just put in one piece at a time and get through at my own rate. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm now going to get started on that. First off, by putting, unscrewing this bung. And screwing in this bad boy. Now the other side is gonna be a pain because from what it looked like, the plug was all melted and uh, stuck to it. So I had to literally unscrew it, which means you had to twist the wires a million times. Might see if I can get that out now, just, uh, just for the shits and gigs, just to make it easier to install. But I'm now gonna throw in this side. Alrighty, so I've loosely got the uh, front two pipes in the center there. Now I've got the X pipe in the middle, which will then lead on to the hot dogs and the rear end. So it's really easy to do, and so far I haven't had any issues, even though I've only kind of put two pipes on very loosely. But the, the, the only issue is, is because I've only got this much area to get my body in between, um, it's a little bit hard because I'm above my head trying to lift it, and this is like the heaviest part of the entire exhaust. Thankfully, it's modular. Um, so I might put a brick under it or something just to get the height up. Yeah, I'll smash this one on, and then we'll get to the next one. All right, so it is now the next day. We have completely assembled the entire exhaust. I didn't show you the entire process or time lapse or anything because it's just putting a couple of bolts together with a few pipes. Everyone knows how to install an exhaust. It's extremely straightforward. It's just like an oil change. It's one of those things like unbolt, bolt on kind of thing. All righty, so now I've pretty much, I've just painted the uh, little exhaust tips that come off. Um, one of the coolest things about this car. And uh, it's a cold day at the moment. So they are actually in the oven right now baking just so that they can actually dry before I put them on. I'm pretty sure I remember showing when uh, when I first unboxed the exhaust, the mufflers you can actually move left to right and up and down to perfect where the center is, which is a clutch thing, especially on a VE. Because I hate seeing the amount of, uh, the amount of exhaust that sit down, sit crooked, sit pointing one direction. So the fact that you can dial it in with this Clutch, huge. Why doesn't every company do that? Um, now this is the first time that I've run mufflers uh, since the car was pretty much new, but I'm kind of sick of the, just that, that loud raw V8, cause it kind of sounds messy. Um, I've done it for like two years now. This is probably still gonna be loud. Um, you know what, the exhaust tip shouldn't make too much of a difference. So I reckon we uh, give it a first cold start and see what it sounds like in here. Yeah, let's do it. Wow. Love that. All right, I'll turn it off now. 
definitely would be annoying people with that. Now, I don't know if it's, oh, it's so weird. It's not as abruptly loud, but it feels like the sound travels more. I know that sounds dumb. I know that sounds dumb. I'm gonna have to, I'll pull it off the stands now, take it outside, and we're gonna do, go do some test hits and see what it actually sounds like out on the road and everything. Then we can compare it to how loud it is compared to the other one. Obviously the other one's louder. Um, now with, uh, I don't know whether I should uh, salvage these, because it's literally just the angle of this flange needs to be tilted like that, and it'll, it'll work. Um, that's, that's the only difference. There's no angle difference or anything. It's literally just like if you go to bolt them up right now, they, they look like that. So you literally just need to spin the flange around. Now I'm wondering if I should go to the effort of doing that for a really loud boy, because I don't know, I went to a mad effort of getting these done. I've got a mate to weld them up. These are three and a half inch tips. So they're actually a lot bigger and they fit around the back there really well. So I do really like those. I don't know if I should salvage these or just sell them and keep it with this nice little grumbly sound. Um, Cause I have started it with the muffles off and it actually sounded really, really similar to that. Um, that might be in another video where I show you that. Um, and then also one day, uh, so these are the headers that I'm running. This is one that I got from warranty. Um, the Empire Performance ones aren't that great. I haven't swapped it in because I just can't be bothered because they're still not that great. On the car, there is a leak. It's coming from in the center in here. Um, it's pretty common with them. Uh, I think they've changed the way they welded them now, so it doesn't. But anyway, as you can see, I've got this little tourney boy just here. I got these made up for summer nats last year but uh, I was stupid and posted on the wrong page and someone had saw it and I was kind of on their watch list for it. So didn't get to use them. Plus it probably would have sounded like absolute dog's balls. So I didn't end up running them, but I am still really curious to hear them and see how freaking loud it is. So we still might run those. Definitely won't be doing that video unless I'm using a hoist. So I might have to speak to Aaron at Easy Life to see if he'll let me borrow it or if I can buy some time from him to use the hoist. I'm just gonna let those uh, exhaust tips bake. Once they're good and ready to go, we will then put them on the car, drop the car, actually I'll drop the car down now and we'll take it for a test drive. For those of you that wanted to see, there's the exhaust, goes all the way into the cats at the front. All the way into these big boy muffles there where the tip slide on. So I just pulled these out of the oven. They look wicked. A lot better than the stainless, I reckon, because there was imperfections all around it. Now this is literally just a cheap $4 gloss paint with uh, no primer, no clear coat, no nothing. So is it gonna last? Hell freaking no, but it fixed the issue that I had right now. So right, let's whack these on and then we can uh, go drive the car. So there we have the tip. Now, I don't like, because they made these so short, that is like literally as far on as it can go. I don't like how you can see the small tips quite easily kind of thing. But I'll tighten them up. I'll make sure they're level first.
All right, so what did we learn from this? Um, is there much of a difference? Yes, there is a lot of a difference. Main difference you're gonna notice first off, it's a hell of a lot quieter. Obviously, we've now put mufflers on the car, but I really wanted to hear what, like, I don't know, the full package set, like system would sound like. Um, and believe it or not, if I was a new customer getting a three inch engine back exhaust, I don't know if I'd be happy with that. Um, maybe it's just because I've come from a nearly straight piped exhaust. Like, I mean, I did have this middle muffler before and like I've traded one muffler for two mufflers, I guess you could say, but those mufflers, I'm pretty sure that muffler on the, on the X-Force is like a chamber system. Whereas the muffler on the Empire system, it's literally a straight through with perforations through the exhaust so that it hits the actual muffler and just, just dampens the sound. It's not actually slowing the exhaust. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about that because like, sure it sounds good and everything, but it, I want it to be a lot louder. I like it a lot louder. And coming from it being a lot louder, that was, I wouldn't say that was disappointing. It's just, I definitely know now that I will want to get those rears, uh, the, the muffler deletes that I had. I want to get them trimmed to suit because I just like it louder. But it was really cool to see. I, I would have liked to have heard, I don't know, go from a stock car to that. Because going from stock, where I remember it's like deadly quiet and almost like mistakenly not even a V8, to going to that, maybe that would be a huge difference. But for me at least, um, yeah, it's just, it's too quiet for me. So even, even Indy, the first thing I said when we got out of the car and I knew she was gonna say it, I was like, so what do you think? She's like, God, it's a lot quieter. Um, and yeah, it is, but. So I'm, I'm actually going to go to the effort of trying to get those, uh, gonna try and get those muffler deletes, the flanges on them just twisted, just so they'll, they'll meet up with this system. Because uh, yeah, I, I wanted to go louder with this, not quieter, but it's, I'm, I'm extremely satisfied and feel like I have closure being able to know that difference. Because in my head, I was like three inch stainless, even with mufflers, it's gonna be louder. And yeah, so it clearly wasn't. But again, we've lost one muffler, picked up two in a way, I guess. But yeah, so we, we will change those over and it will sound a lot louder. That will be in a different video though. Um, as far as this video goes, I am, I am quite happy with the outcome that we've gotten. Um, I, I kind of feel like a Mythbuster being able to say that we know the difference now. So if you're a person that's looking for an exhaust, uh, you know, now know that, I don't know, two and a half inch miles still with muffler deletes is louder than a three inch stainless steel with mufflers. So maybe you could save that extra money buy the two and a half inch, get the muffler deletes, and you're gonna have a loud car that sounds good. Doesn't sound tinny, I don't reckon, depending on the brand maybe. But yeah, I, I really enjoy the sound of the way it was. So I'm really going to be interested to see how it sounds when we actually get those muffler deletes back on. That'll be a different video though. So as far as this is concerned, it did take a while to do. My shoulders and arms are killing me. If I had a hoist, this job would have been done in half an hour. But <laughs> because of how the car had to be jacked up, it was a couple of days of like little bits here and there kind of thing. But yeah, it's done now. Um, one thing I have also noticed uh, is it's a lot lower to the ground. So um, on some of the flanges, I'm gonna need to go drive on some highways and grind them a bit flatter because you can see my normal little scrub marks from my old exhaust. They were just like a couple little, little ones. Now these ones, they actually like dug into the concrete. I mean, that, that only scratched the surface, but here, that's actually dug into the concrete. Um, so I will go down a, uh, a highway and just grind them down a bit. Um, can you see the clearance from here? I mean, it doesn't look noticeably lower. It actually, I'm actually super impressed by looking at that. That is really mind blowing. That, out of all exhausts I've seen, I would almost go as far to say that is the least hanging down I've seen, like, I know on a DPE one, and I think Hurricane as well, man, they, they touch the ground from nearly stock height. They go real deep coming down. That is extremely impressive to see how flat that is. Ma major win, Empire. Ma that's a huge thing, Empire. But yeah, so as, as far as the, the, this video goes, I'm, I'm quite happy to see where that's gone. Um, I really like the, the deep note that it's got. I just want it to be louder now. Now, finally, if you're still with us, thank you for, for staying with us for the rest of the video. Stickers. Stickers are now available to be purchased. I've had so many people asking, so many people messaging me, so many people DMing me, so many people asking for stickers. Finally, the website is live. 
picnicmedia.com. As simple as that. At the moment, we've only got stickers on there. That is where we're going to sell all of our merch. Um, go crazy. Buy as many as you want. At the moment, we do have some, uh, like only some odd colors for testing. I think we've got gray, like Nardo gray, gold chrome, the the typical yellow for like the picnic yellow, and black. I want to be different. I don't want you to do. I don't just want to do boring white stickers. Um, so yeah, jump on the website, pick up some stickers, help support picnic, and help support us doing some more cool stuff in the future. For now, that's gonna be the end of this video. I'll catch you guys in the next video where I stop being slack and start getting back on a schedule. And uh, yeah, alrighty guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. You bitching and bugging, there's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper, got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turning to envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay.